In this video, we will discuss adrenogenital syndrome, its causes, clinical features in both male and female children, and different types of adrenogenital syndrome, its investigations and diagnosis and lab features of the adrenogenital syndrome. Before I start discussing adrenogenital syndrome, I have important examination questions. We'll get the answer as we go through the topic. After we are done with the topic, we'll discuss the answers of these questions. So question number one is why C21 steroids are called 17 hydroxysteroids and C19 steroids are called 17 keto steroids. Number two, which substances increase in blood and urine in adrenogenital syndrome. Number three, what are the amniotic fluids finding in adrenogenital syndrome? Number four, what are the lab findings of precocious puberty in male children in adrenogenital syndrome? And number five, how much cortisol and aldosterone are produced daily? Number six, which two adrenal hormones are produced in the highest quantity? Number seven, why increased androgens are produced in adrenogenital syndrome. Number 8. What's the difference between 11 beta and 21 hydroxylase deficiency? Number 9. What's the origin of urinary ketosteroids? And number 10. What are the results of 21 hydroxylase screening test at birth? So let's discuss the adrenogenital syndrome. Adrenogenital syndrome is an autosomal recessive disorder. There is excess adrenal androgens, increase in 17 ketosteroids, testosterone and dihydroxy testosterone and a deficiency of cortisol and aldosterone. Number two, in 95% of cases, the condition is due to the deficiency of 21 hydroxylase. Other enzyme deficiency that cause adrenogenital syndrome are 3 beta hydroxy dehydrogenase enzyme and 11 beta hydroxylase. Number Number three, only female children have abnormal external sex organs. Excess adrenal androgens cause virilization with ambiguous genitals and hypospedias. 21 hydroxylase deficiency may be partial or complete. Partial deficiency is more common and occurs with or without aldosterone deficiency. Partial deficiency of 21 hydroxylase causes virilizing adenogenital syndrome. Feature number one, virilization in female child at birth is associated with ambiguous genitals with enlarged clitoris, fused labia and hypospedias. Female pseudohermaphroditism. Number two, in female it causes hirsutism, hypogonadism, oligomenorrhea and musculinization and accelerated growth and advanced bone age. Number three, in both male and female children, increased androgen causes accelerated growth so that the bone age exceeds the chronological age. Early epiphyseal closure stops the growth leading to characteristic appearance of a short child with well-developed trunk. In male children it causes precocious puberty. So what are the features of this type of precocious puberty? This type of precocious puberty has low gonadotrophin because of high androgens and low luteinizing hormone levels. Number three small testis and number four oligo Spermia also occur. Aldosterone deficiency causes salt losing form of this syndrome. The salt losing form causes acute episodes of adrenal insufficiency with decreased blood pressure, sodium loss, and hyperkalemia. Aldosterone normally removes potassium from the body and absorbs sodium. When aldosterone is absent, there is sodium loss and hyperkalemia. So there is also cardiovascular collapse and vomiting. Why? increased androgen productions occur in adenogenital syndrome. This is because of the conversion of progesterone and 17 hydroxy progesterone to DHEA, dehydro epiandrosterone, androsterone and to testosterone. So how it causes increase in androgens. This is the pathway for the synthesis of different adrenal steroids. The one on the left going vertically down at forms aldosterone in the zona glomerulosa. The one in the middle forms cortisol in zona fasciculata and on the right side going down it forms testosterone or androgens. When there is a deficiency of 21 hydroxylase enzyme 
it blocks both the synthesis of aldosterone and cortisol. So there is a backup of the substrate of progesterone and 17 hydroxy progesterone. 21 hydroxylase is required for the conversion of progesterone to deoxycortisone in the synthesis of aldosterone pathway. And it is also required for the conversion of 17 hydroxy progesterone to 11 deoxycortisone in the synthesis of cortisol pathway. When 21 hydroxylase is deficient, progesterone is not converted to deoxycorticosterone in the aldosterone pathway and 17 hydroxy progesterone is not converted to 11 deoxycortisol in the cortisol synthesis pathway. So these two substances progesterone and 17 hydroxy progesterone increase in quantity and are diverted to form excess androgen. 21 hydroxylase when it is deficient there is a backup and it forms 17 alpha hydroxy pregnenolone that is converted to DHEA, androestine dione and to testosterone increase androgen. Why is there hypertrophy of adrenal gland in adenogenital syndrome? Because cortisol is not formed in adenogenital syndrome or deficient in quantity and cortisol causes negative feedback inhibition by acting on pituitary and hypothalamus. So when cortisol is deficient or missing it causes increased production of corticotropin often releasing hormone from the hypothalamus and ACTH from pituitary gland. Increased production of ACTH causes hypertrophy and hyperplasia of the adrenal gland and increased skin pigmentation. So decreased cortisol causes increased production of ACTH from the pituitary that stimulates the adrenal gland but there is no formation of cortisol causing hypertrophy and hyperplasia of the adrenal cortex. What's the difference between 11 beta and 21 hydroxylase deficiency? Both types have increase in androgens. See here this is the 21 hydroxylase and this is 11 beta hydroxylase. If 21 hydroxylase is deficient then it forms increased androgen. If 11 beta hydroxylase is deficient then it also causes increased androgen. But when 11 beta hydroxylase is deficient, it causes increased production of deoxycorticosterone and 11 deoxycortisol. And deoxycorticosterone is a potent mineralocorticoid. Increased deoxycorticosterone causes increase in blood pressure with hypokalemia along with increased androgen. Whereas 21 hydroxylase does not increase deoxycorticosterone. So this is the difference between the two. So in both types we have increase in androgen number 1 17 ketosteroid testosterone and DHT and increase in 17 hydroxy progesterone and in 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency as I already told there is increase in deoxycorticosterone which is a mineral corticoid causes hypertension and hypokalemia and increased blood and urine deoxycortisol. So when this is blocked here increase in urinary and blood deoxycortisol and in 11 beta beta hydroxylase deficiency there is low renin activity also whereas in 21 hydroxylase deficiency as I told decreased aldosterone dehydration hyponatremia and hyperkalemia so in 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency there is hyperkalemia and hypertension and in 21 hydroxylase deficiency there is hypotension and hyperkalemia Diagnosis of adrenogenital syndrome. Physical findings in female hypertrophy of the clitoris, fused labia, and hypospedias. Isosexual precocity in the male. Increased bone age in both male and female. Infants have episodes of acute adrenal insufficiency, salt wasting, and hypotension. The lab investigation in 21 hydroxylase deficiency. So, what we find in blood is that increased 17 ketosteroid, increased plasma DHEA and increase in hydroxy progesterone. Let's see here. So when this is deficient then there is increase in DHEA androstine dione and increase in pregnenolone and progesterone and 17 hydroxy progesterone which is converted to pregnant triol which is excreted in the urine and there is decrease in hydroxy corticosteroids and mineralocorticoids. See here this is deficient so these two will be decreased aldosterone and cortisol mineralocorticoids and glucocorticoid both will be deficient and there is hyperkalemia and hyponatremia and in urine there will be increased urinary 17 ketosteroid because androgen production increase and increased urinary pregnant triol 
because there is increase in 17 hydroxy progesterone. So what are the findings of precocious puberty in male children in adenogenital syndrome? Number one, low gonadotrophins. And number two, low luteinizing hormone because they have increased androgens. And number three, they have a small testis and oligospermia also occur. Now answers to the question. First question, why C21 steroids are called 17 hydroxy steroids and C19 steroids are called 17 keto steroids. C21 steroids have 21 carbon atom and C19 steroids have 19 carbon atoms. C21 steroids have a hydroxyl group attached on carbon atom number 17 that is why they are called 17 hydroxy steroid whereas c19 steroid have a keto group on carbon atom 17 that's why they are called 17 keto steroid the c21 have a hydroxyl group so they are called 17 hydroxy steroid and c19 have a keto group on the carbon 17 so they are called c17 keto steroid c17 hydroxy steroids are glucocorticoid and mineral corticoids and 17 keto steroids are androgenic which substances increase in blood and urine in adenogenital syndrome i have explained this earlier so we skip this answer only thing that 17 hydroxy progesterone is converted to pregnant trial which is excreted in the urine fourth questions lab findings in the precocious puberty in male children so they have increased androgens so low gonadotrophins low lh small testis and oligospermia fifth question how much cortisol and aldosterone are produced daily cortisol 20 mg per day and aldosterone 0.2 mg per day so 20 mg and about 0.2 mg aldosterone which two adrenal hormones are produced in the highest quantity cortisol 20 mg a day and dhea 15 to 20 mg a day a seventh question why increase androgens are produced in adrenal genital syndrome i have already explained it earlier in the topic a question eight what's the difference between the 11 beta and 21 hydroxylase deficiency we have already done it both have increased androgen and increased hydroxyprogesterone and 11 beta oxalase have increase in deoxycorticosterone and deoxycorticosol and low renin activity next question what's the origin of urinary ketosteroid urinary ketosteroids two-thirds are of adrenal origin and one-third are of testicular origin what are the results of 21 hydroxylate screening test at birth increased level of 17 hydroxyprogesterone enables early detection of of the adenogenital syndrome and congenital adrenal hyperplasia.